The best high performance electric scooters all have one thing in common. They come with dual motors. Not all dual motor scooters are created equally, but for every rider, there's gonna be that one that's the best fit. Whether you want uncompromising ride comfort, have a need for speed, want a long range joyride companion, or want to keep up with the latest tech, there's a dual motor scooter for you. Today we have scooters that can go as fast as cars, carry you a couple cities over on a single charge, and even withstand rocky excursions. The possibilities are endless. We've hands-on tested over 50 dual motor scooters, and today we're bringing you the 10 best dual motor electric scooters. Every so often there comes a scooter that's spectacularly good, but flies under the radar for no apparent reason. The Wolf Warrior X is a solid example. Categorically, one of the most underrated and overlooked scooters, the X is the quiet industry leader you want to consider if you're looking for a scooter that exceeds expectations. The smaller version of the exceedingly popular Wolf Warrior 11 still ranks high in the top percentile of each of our performance tests, going head to head with our most aggressive big dogs. You'll get a top speed of 44.1 miles per hour and 32 miles of range from this light heavyweight because despite its beefy looks, it only weighs 79.8 pounds. For ride comfort, great stability and handling, the Warrior X comes with Cabo's sturdy dual hydraulic fork suspension, excellent ground clearance, large 10 inch tires, and spring slash polyurethane rear suspension. The motors also deliver quiet and smooth acceleration thanks to the sine wave controllers. The smooth throttle makes the Warrior X safer and more fun to ride. And even with the pro version available, we still prefer the base. It's $400 cheaper and surprisingly outdoes the pro in every category except for range. The Warrior X is an ESG all-time favorite. Pros include excellent low light visibility, great stability and handling, top-notch ride quality, the folded footprint can fit in a sedan trunk, and it's an exceptional performance scooter value. Cons include flimsy ambient lights, uncomfortable throttle, and the display is dim in bright sunlight. I've been a fan of the Dualtron Thunder since its initial release back in 2019, but if you're an adrenaline junkie like me, you may want to spend the extra $800 for the Thunder 2 and get twice the peak power. The original Thunder is an excellent performance scooter. It gives you 45.2 miles of range and can travel as fast as 50 miles per hour. The dual motors peak at 5,400 watts, which gives it sufficient torque for the most demanding rides, great hill climbing, and can support riders up to 265 pounds. Then comes the Thunder 2 with an enormous 72 volt, 2,880 watt hour battery with LG 21700 cells, delivering the longest range of any scooter we've tested at 59.5 miles. The Thunder 2's motors also have the highest peak power we've ever tested. Double clicking the throttle unleashes over 10 kilowatts of peak power, arriving at 30 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds and topping out at 58.3 miles per hour and making it the fourth fastest hill climber we've ever tested. Both scooters come with powerful nut hydraulic disc brakes, bringing the Thunder to a stop in 9.7 feet and the Thunder 2 in 10.1 feet one of the few areas where the original Thunder beats the Thunder 2. Most importantly, you can safeguard your investment by getting the longest Dualtron warranty available today when you purchase your scooter from Bora Motors. See our code in the description. Pros include longest range of any scooter we've ever tested, optional seat, adrenaline rush on tap, rock solid build, and removable footrest. Cons include short and creaking stem, though both are easy to remedy. EY3 display is bright, but beginning to look dated low deck traction, and needs a brighter high-mounted headlight for night riding. This is one of the most impressive scooters we've ever had the joy of testing. When it came out, the Wolf King GT broke our records for fastest production scooter in the world at 61 miles per hour. Only a few low volume hand-built scooters from companies like Ryan or Wepeg can go faster. It also has the second longest range we've ever tested at 55 miles, best high-speed stability of any electric scooter, largely thanks to Cabo's exceptional dual fork design, the first scooter equipped with flat-proof pneumatic tires, and the best color display we had ever seen. On top of that, the Wolf King GT gives you smooth and progressive acceleration, even in top performance mode, thanks to the sine wave controllers. The King GT reaches 30 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds, which is quite impressive. The scooter also has fantastic hill crushing power, the second fastest hill climber we've ever tested. 
There's so much to love about the King GT, but we'll end this shout out to Cabo with the Zoom hydraulic brakes, which are still the thickest, most warp resistant scooter rotors on the planet and deliver a stopping distance of 10 feet from 15 miles per hour. The King GT is really in contention for king of the market and its gold frame is iconic. Pros include fastest production scooter on the market, second longest range ever tested, unmatched high speed stability, uncompromised braking, and industry leading lighting. Cons include heavy, even for a heavyweight, weighing in at 10 pounds more than spec, side stand is still an ankle hazard, and complicated folding mechanism. Unagi is an outlier in the industry with the only large scale subscription first business model. When they launched in 2018, they quickly became famous for their $990 Model 1, which is designed beautifully and intentionally. It's the most popular dual motor scooter under $1,000, since dual motor scooters usually cost $1,600 or more, as well as the best ultra lightweight dual motor scooter. Since 2021, however, most people riding the Model 1 do so through Unagi's no commitment monthly rental option, which allows you to have all maintenance covered starting at $39 a month, with things like theft insurance also covered at the cheapest rate you'll find. Unagi is a strong brand that wants you to treat the scooter as your own, connect with your city, and enjoy your commute with the most hassle-free experience possible. Pros include great rental service deal, excellent speed and power for its lightweight design, highly maneuverable in dense urban environments, beautiful and sleek, and premium materials and ergonomics. Cons include definitely for short range and urban commutes. Focused far more on portability than suspension. As a much lighter scooter, the suspension really doesn't compare with the others on the list. For our second and final cheaper option on this list that has more of a performance bent, see the Varla Pegasus. What really sets this scooter apart is the dual spring suspension system that's not usually available for most scooters in its price class. The suspension is super firm and might require some tuning for lighter weight riders, but really helps smooth out the jittery ride you can get from solid super wide tires. This is your best bet if you're looking for a cheap scooter for light off-roading. The Pegasus long wheelbase and low center of gravity give it the best braking distance on our list with an astounding 9.2 foot stopping distance. The Varla Pegasus also gives you one of the most easy to read displays we've ever seen. Pros include internal steering damper for stability and handling, good ride quality for its price class, price and lower top speed make it good for beginners, and great braking distance. Cons include regenerative brakes could be smoother, flat tire profile decreases handling and ride comfort, solid tires reduce ride quality from the dual spring suspension, and the kickstand is rigid and hard to deploy. The Apollo Ghost is one of Apollo's best-selling units for good reason. It's not cast in stone that dual motor scooters need to cost an arm and a leg. Therefore, when a manufacturer like Apollo releases a more affordable alternative like the Ghost, best believe there will be some buzz. To kick us off, or float us off, is the speed, which is unmatched in the scooter's price class. The scooter hits top speeds of 38.4 miles per hour, outdoing all other scooters by reputable brands under the $1,700 mark. The dual motors are each rated at 800 watts and each peak at 1,000 watts. That gives the scooter an acceleration time of 2.3 seconds to the 15 mile per hour mark. And to complement that power, the dual cable operated disc brakes come into play, giving the scooter a decent stopping distance of 10.6 feet, though now the dual hydraulic brakes are also an option. But all that aside, the Ghost is due for a 2022 upgrade, which we are super stoked about. Here's a snippet of what to expect from the new Ghost 2022 upgraded 1000 watt motors for added acceleration, higher top speed, an all new folding mechanism with zero wobble, double reinforced stem construction for complete stability, and 50% thicker rims for better shock absorption and durability. Pros include fastest scooter in its class, excellent braking, great portability features, and awesome under deck lighting. Cons include very firm front suspension and needs more grip tape. No list of dual motor scooters would be complete without the Cabo Mantis V2, so we had to include it even though there are a number of scooters around this price range. The scooter is a standard setter in the industry and the V2 recently came out as a base version that exceeds the performance of the former and more expensive Pro model. The Mantis is a well-rounded, excellent value performer, but there are things that stand out for us. There's the sine wave controllers that give the scooter amazingly smooth acceleration. The V2 also comes with a large battery with LG or Samsung cells, which is responsible for the scooter's 27.2 miles of range. The scooter also delivers great ride quality thanks to the wobble-free stem, 
the 10 by 2.5 inch tires, and the dual front and rear spring suspension. Riders also get to enjoy the unmatched braking and the safety of a full lighting profile that includes turn signals. The added tire hugger fender also complements the IPX5 rating to ensure that both you and your scooter are protected when riding through puddles. Pros include sine wave motor controllers for smooth acceleration, excellent price for performance ratio, hydraulic braking system, and improved fender protection. Cons include throttle ergonomics are not the best, and display could be brighter. Our next honorable mention is the Vset 10 Plus. This light heavyweight scooter is a successor to the 010X, whose popularity we didn't think could be outdone, yet the Vset 10 Plus is arguably as successful or more. The Vset 10 Plus comes equipped with high performance dual motors that turn out 2800 watts of peak power, which translates to an acceleration time of 15 miles per hour in a record 1.9 seconds. It also reaches a top speed of 43.3 miles per hour and achieves 33.6 miles of range, making it a scooter you can't ignore. The build quality is exceptional, and you'll love the wonderfully stiff stem that taunts you to want to always ride at full throttle. The scooter also comes with a rear hydraulic spring shock that delivers great damping, though we wish it had one at the front as well. Pros include superior hydraulic damping from the rear shock, the first stem ever to receive an A++, and best-in-class acceleration. Cons include short usable deck, display is dim, and ergonomics generally could be better. The Bernie 2 is a more affordable release by NAMI. Building on the predecessor's success, it makes it an extremely compelling alternative and at $1,500 less. Why opt for this scooter? Well, the hand-welded iconic frame and carbon fiber stem give it a ride quality we just haven't seen duplicated. The scooter then comes equipped with Logan two-piston hydraulic brakes that have even better braking feel than the nut brakes on the original. The Birdie 2 also comes with front and rear adjustable hydraulic suspension, where you can dial in the rebound damping from bouncy to stiff. You can also enjoy improved high-speed stability from the adjustable steering damper, and the two of it tires feel awesome. There's no debate on the build quality of this scooter, and the Nami Bernie 2 is definitely great value for your money. Pros include great bang for the buck, comfortable ride, and exotic looks. Cons include dead zone on the throttle, potential finger pinch point when lifting, and short brake cable. This is Segway's first dual motor beast scooter, and they went big. It's so refined though, it feels like the 10th iteration. It's the perfect blend of performance, innovation, ride quality, and build quality. The GT2 comes with prime aesthetics, including a PM OLED display, aka fighter jet display. The scooter is so well put together, it looks like it was machine cut from a single element. Other key attractions include the traction control, an ergonomic motorcycle style twist throttle that makes us question the throttles on all other scooters, and it comes with a boost button that delivers even more kick to the all already impressive acceleration. The ride quality is excellent and incredibly stable thanks to adjustable hydraulic shocks, an 18 degree rake angle, and large tires, and a long wheelbase. If you saw the GT2 and thought, I have to have it, and then at checkout realized you were $1,000 short, guess what? There's the GT1. The GT1 is a single motor scooter, but rivals many of the dual motor scooters in performance. You get the same build quality, handling, ride comfort, and impeccable braking, but less power, a conventional display, and reduced range due to a smaller battery. But you still get all of the style of the GT2. Pros include impressive stability and deck comfort, world-class ride comfort, next level aesthetics, and innovative traction control. Cons include range per pound and portability is low, top speed lower than comparable scooters, may have to wait due to crowdfunding phase, less customizable and serviceable. Apollo has to be one of the most feedback-oriented manufacturers we have, and it shows in each subsequent release. Since they engineered and released their first in-house design, talking about the Phantom of course, it's only gotten better with the release of the City. The City Pro is the first scooter built on Apollo's 2.0 platform that encompasses years of R&D in proprietary hardware and software. The City Pro has everything you need in a super clean, painstakingly custom-built scooter. The scooter puts across incredible attention to detail, like tall handlebars that are great for larger riders, the wear-proof drum brakes that are less likely to lock up and work just as well in wet weather, the solid and easy-to-deploy kickstand, and these super solid fenders that I once tested by standing on them. We also love the impressive tubeless 10-inch flat-proof tires, which pass the ESG nail test. Not to mention the featureful app that calculates remaining range, something that we also tested and found to work pretty well. And we've heard many app updates are on the way. 
Finally, the City Pro brings us the highest IP rating of any scooter we've tested. While we'd never encourage anyone to ride their electric scooter through deep puddles, at IP56, your City Pro is more protected than most other scooters and gives you room to play in the rain. Just don't catch the flu. Pros include smooth variable regen braking, flat proof 10 inch pneumatic tires, clean integrated design, highest IP rating in our database, and ultra short charging time. Cons include deck hook doesn't stay latched, turn signals not visible from the front, and it's a premium scooter at a premium price. The eMove Roadrunner is easily one of the most addictive scooters you'll ever get to ride. The joy of riding this thing simply can't be put into words. From the moment I threw my leg over the seat, I couldn't stop carving corners on it. First, this scooter has excellent range for its price point, covering 33 miles on a single charge. The large battery is rated at 48 volts, 1253 watt hours, and is removable. This means you can purchase an extra battery, which at 15 pounds is not too heavy to carry and double your range. And being seated, you get to eliminate the fatigue of standing up, whether you're doing 33, 66, or even 99 miles. The 14.5 inch tires roll easily over obstacles and provide good handling, working well with the adjustable front suspension, though we'd love to see suspension out back too. If convenience and speed are what you need from a dual motor electric scooter, then look no further than eMove Roadrunner. Pros include excellent max speed, intuitive to use, well-executed swappable battery, and an intangible can't-stop-riding factor. Cons include fenders don't keep off most splashes, the seat could be more comfortable, and rear suspension would make it even better. We hope this list helped you find the perfect dual-motor electric scooter. We put a tremendous amount of effort into everything we do, so if you enjoyed this, please honor us by subscribing, liking this video, or watching more. All the links are in the description for best prices possible.